Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the Eredivisie and Chinese Super League insane content that we had yesterday with the Fellaini SBC. He's got the Afro in game. The cards that were released, they actually did the juice. They put out a lot of really cool looking cards and they made it two different squads. So that is a huge W from EA. Thank you for doing that. I think this week kind of needed that with the Serie A. Also talking about what's going on with this game with the market. The Serie A Tots cards are dropping a little bit. And looking at the guaranteed SBCs that we should be seeing today on Tuesday. Now the question is, will we see two or will we see just the one? Uh, or will it be like last week where they do the, the, the higher tier league, the Serie A for this week? Will they do it twice like they did last week? So that's going to be the talking points for today. But of course, the cards that you guys have seen come out, the new Chinese League and the Eredivisie cards. A lot of cool looking cards in here, right? Again, this is more like the fun level of content in FIFA, right? Alisson Drini get a, a 92 rated right mid card. He was extinct at 400k for a short period of time. He's actually down a little bit right now. I want to take a look at his price because some of these cards might rise back up a little bit into the day just after their initial hype. Um, but they also could be dropping at some point later on today. So it could be a little bit risky to trade with, but we might try to get involved on a very rare and hyped up card like that. But we should see the guaranteed Chinese League or uh, Air Divisi Tots uh, SBC come out today. Oscar's card looks pretty cool. He's four star, four star. Again, there's just like cool usable cards in here that some of the other secondary leagues, there haven't been that many of them, right? And I feel like for the Chinese League and for the Air Divisi, both of those leagues are linkable because of the Brazilian links, you know, the French links for Alessandrini. This Marcao card looks, you know, decent, right? 90 pace. Again, the Oscar looks really dope. Um, this, um, there was, oh, the left back. The 86 rated left back with 92 pace, 84 defense, 86 physical. Decent looking card. Jonathan Air looks decent, but combo with the pace looks pretty cool as well. And then if you look at the Air Divisi squad, Coop Miners looks pretty sick. Malin cracked out with 99 pace. Uh, Burgoyce looks pretty dope. This center back, Bazoer. Uh, it has club 80 stats. He's three star skills, four star weak foot, medium low work rate, which is, which is a bit of a bummer because this guy looks like he could be a pretty dope center mid, uh, but medium low work rates is maybe not the best. Um, even for a center back, low defensive work rate, rate uh, rates on a center back is not that good. But also, Philip Max, uh, Daily Blind with 80 pace, that's not too terrible of a card. And then Dumfries as well looks absolutely insane. And I'm going to say it as a center back. On this game with a 93 pace, the 99 physical, literally cracked out, almost maxed out, 99 physical. He's only missing uh, two aggression, which you could get with a chem style. That's crazy, though. On this Dumfries card, high, high work rates, maybe even as a center mid. This card might be pretty cool. So, again, these cards are just very usable and they're very cool because they link with a lot of stuff. You know, we've had a lot of Air Divisi special cards this year with the Robin and with the Clyber, the Leroy Fair. Those are links that I used in my team for a long time this year. Just a very, very hype year for the Air Divisi. And you're seeing that, right? You're seeing these guys' prices be a little bit inflated, in, in my opinion, right now. These guys are going to drop off for sure, right? You take a look at the other secondary league tots that we have seen. You, you look at guys like Buendia. You look at guys like Romarino. This Malin right now is 260,000 coins on the market. Now, the guaranteed SBC today for the Eredivisie or CSL. Now, the last couple weeks, it's been very, very cheap. It's been an 82-rated squad or, you know, maybe an 83 has been like the highest it's been for the secondary league team of the season that we have had released in FIFA. Now, I think this week it's going to be more expensive because it is a guaranteed CSL or Air Divisie card. So you're getting a guaranteed card from either of those two teams. And I honestly think that you might see it be an 84 rated squad today. Again, since they've juiced up these teams this much, it's going to be an SBC that a lot of people are interested in. And you've already seen 83s and 84s rise because of the content yesterday. I want to talk about that too. But again, we're talking about this guaranteed SBC that could be coming out today. I do think that uh, that's going to drop some of these prices on the market. And I do think that guaranteed SBC might be a bit more expensive than they have been in the past couple of weeks because we have some better cards out and more hyped secondary leagues, in my opinion. So I would even look for that to be an 83 or an 84 rated squad today, maybe requiring a team of the season, but hopefully not. I mean, honestly, if they do an 84 rated squad and they require a TOTS, it's going to be so easy to do because all your TOTS cards are like 86 or above. You throw that in there, you put in some 82s and 83s, and bang, you have an 84 rated squad. So that's kind of what I'm hoping they do today. If they made it 83 or below, 
uh, for a requirement, that'd be dope. That'd be very, very dope, but it should be just one SBC coming out today. Now, if EA kind of messed up again, now last week, you guys remember, we had the guaranteed Bundesliga um, SBC pack come out on Tuesday as well. So we had both the main league and the secondary league come out last Tuesday. I'm not sure if they duplicate that again this week. Some of these Serie A Tots cards are down, of course, because people, again, are spamming their coins and sending their coins into upgrade packs because, once again, these upgrade packs and the player picks specifically are cracked. Again, we knew this was going to be coming with the league-specific 80-plus player pick packs that we had during La Liga, that schedule coming up again for this week. We knew that it was going to be OP. We knew these cards and these packs were going to be pretty good, and it's bringing some hype to this week with these cards that maybe aren't as hype for some people. Uh, the fact that, you know, you have a better chance of getting Ronaldo because of the player picks being cracked is going to make a lot more people go out and try to get Ronaldo or Lukaku or Mertens. I've seen a lot of Insignes, Scriniars, Quadrados. Uh, Lautaro Martinez actually pops up a decent amount, but of course, Lukaku, Mertens, Ronaldo, even Kessie and Teo Hernandez, those guys are really rare. So if you've packed any of those from player picks, GG's, but just... Getting blues from player picks, like, the, again, the Scriniar, DeVry, DePaul, uh, Donnarumma, Berardi, Romero, th these guys are popping up a lot in the player picks, and that makes people want to keep doing them because they can go do other SBCs when they get big-time blues like that. And, of course, people just like packing blues, right? It's this time of the year. So if we get that SBC today, last year in FIFA 20, the guaranteed Serie A team of the season SBC was an 86-rated squad with one team of the season player. I'm not sure if we're going to get that today or if it's going to just come out on Wednesday or if we'll get it on both like we had last week with Bundesliga, but I'm for sure expecting it on Wednesday, maybe today, but just so you're aware, 86 rated squad, one Tots player. It's probably going to stay right around that range for the Serie A again, because we have Ronaldo, right? Ronaldo is a player in this team and that's going to make everybody want to go do that SBC. Now, taking a look at the SBC fodder on the market. Of course, with the Fellaini SBC that was released yesterday, uh, the 91 Fellaini, this card's gaining a lot of traction, 1,900 upvotes. It's only a 70K SBC. I believe it's an 83 rated squad. A four star, four star is the requirement or is, is the, the card for Fellaini, which is actually looking like a pretty decent card. Of course, the links are tough, but this is why you see some of the hype today. And also the 84 plus player pick that had an 83 rated squad requirement. And that is rising up some of the 84s as well. If you look at the index 83, all of the fodder that was once down this weekend is now starting to rise back up. So if you did buy any of this stuff, you're feeling pretty good, especially if it was on the lower tier end. The 85s and the 86s, those haven't had too much of a chance to move like the 83s and 84s have. Um, you know, the 86s went up a little bit. They, they got really, really low again. Now they're kind of back up. But as we see a guaranteed Serie A TOTS SBC on the horizon, if uh, if these 85s and 86s are getting low again today into Tuesday and you want to take a bit of a gamble on that, I mean, it's not even really that big of a gamble. We're going to have more high tier SBCs coming out in my opinion. I expect today on Tuesday to have another Serie A team of the season player related SBC. I would expect one of those. Maybe we're due for a U23 player from Syria. That could be interesting. Maybe a Kulusevsky SBC for U23. Just throwing out a couple names. Or the uh, what, Vlahovic, I, I forget what his name is, the striker from Fiorentina that had such a sick year. He could be getting a U23 Tots moments card as well, kind of like Bellingham did last week. That, I think we'll get a Syria Tots player SBC today on Tuesday. And then again, of course, getting that guaranteed tots from the Air Divisie or CSL. That's going to be just, there's more demand for the fodder throughout the week and less supply. So that fodder is going to be rising up for sure. And now if we get two Serie A tots guaranteed, that would make the fodder investment on the 84 and 85 range even better because there's more demand. But we'll have to see what happens with that. Again, Fellaini was a dope SBC. Uh, they released a 92 plus prime icon player pack uh, as well, an upgrade pack. And I just don't know how much hype this has for Prime Icon you're spending. Of course, it's 92 or higher, but you could get Prime Bobby Moore or you could get Prime, I don't know, Prime like Burkamp or um, Van Basten, I think, in one of these. And that's just not what you're looking for for a 92 plus Prime Icon that you're going to spend 500K on. It's really... It's really, really not that worth it. So that's kind of what I'm expecting is the fodder to go up again today with the guaranteed TOTS SBCs. And that's kind of what we see during the week, right? And also people are going to be spamming the player picks. I believe that like rare golds, 
on the market right now or like really expensive. Uh, let me check my boy Kalu. This is a card that I use all the time for doing upgrade packs. How much is he? 1.6K is the selling for some of these rare golds. People are spamming these upgrade player picks because they're just OP, right? And that's draining coins from the market. And you're seeing the Serie A Tots cards and a lot of the other stuff on this market go down because of that. That's probably going to continue today on Tuesday as more and more people are doing those. Now, I'm going to be waiting to do player picks until later on because, of course, on Thursday, they're going to get cheaper, right? So if you do want to send some player picks, Thursday and later on is going to be the time to do that. Now, also, this card's getting a lot of hype. A few, a, not a future stars. He's had the future stars earlier this year, but the Anthony Eredivisie team of the season right wing card, a right wing Brazilian with five star skills. Now, of course, he does not have a very good weak foot. I believe the card is a, is it two star? Or is it three star? It is a, oh, sorry, not five star skills, four star skills and a three star weak foot. I thought he had five for some reason, but he's got the maxed out pace, uh, plus five shooting, plus five defending, four physical, one dribbling, one passing off his future stars. So not an insane boost, but a really, really solid card from objectives and really cool, right? A Brazilian right wing, you know, other than a guy like Garincha, who else are you going to find in this game? Willian? No thanks. Not at this stage of the game. So this Anthony card is really nice for squad building, the Ajax links, and just the, the nationality links as well. You can do this in rivals. Uh, not too terrible of a grind, a little bit of one. Okay, there's some there's squad battles or rivals in this too. So, you know, I think a lot of people are liking this Anthony card. He's got 2,700 upvotes on Footbin. So that's there's a lot of hype for that as well because that's a really solid card from Objectives. Three more days to get that done, as you see in the top left, if you do want to go out and grind that SBC. But as you're watching the market today, uh, watch again these Liga Nos cards. Man, Gon Gonsalves is 119,000 coins. That is crazy how low that card is. That's crazy. Obviously, he's out of packs because these cards left packs yesterday. He went to 114 to 113. So he's actually up a little bit. But if this gets back in the low 100s, I'm interested. Same thing with Otavio with those Brazilian links. There's a lot of Brazilian links that are in the Chinese League Super League. So you might see some of those links of course with like Moises with Oscar with Marcao you know a lot of Brazilian links in here so you might see some of this go up if they would release like a Renato Augusto SBC not sure if he deserves a tots card or not but one other thing we could see today since we saw Fellaini is we might see later on in the week an Eredivisie SBC because we had an SBC from the Chinese Super League and then maybe we'll get one from the Eredivisie as well but again these cards are in packs until next Monday, that is the ticker, and that's what the in-game screen shows us as well until next Monday. So I do expect a lot of those cards to drop off in that time frame. You know, like Gonzalez last week was like 220,000 coins. They, they continue to drop off during the week, and that's 100% a thing to watch out for. But um, Pedro Goncalves, boom, he's right here, 120,000 coins. So I would be, I would 100% expect these TOTS cards from the brand new leagues to be dropping off as well. But again, they could rise out of packs later on. Like an Alessandrini with those French links is going to have a rise out of packs in my opinion because there's a lot of hype around this card. I'm going to look him up one more time because if he is anywhere near uh, like two, 300 and like 300,000 coins flat, I might have to get interested into the morning, which he's 315. So we'll keep an eye on this. If it's low 300s and if there's not that much panic, we might try... A risky flip there but again i think in the midweeks fodder is kind of the trading name of the game if you want to get involved with some of that i still feel like the 85s and 86s have room to go up later on this week uh and i still have my push gas on my transfer list i bought this at 1.21 he's chilling around the one two mid to one two high range trying to find a sale for this around like 1.2 high probably should list it higher than this because maybe catch him rare overnight on a fluctuation but you know, I'm just kind of trading with the rare stuff on the market, watching a lot of these rare icons. Again, I talk about this all the time, but this is really, for me, where the money is. These out-of-packs, baby and middle icons that fluctuate so much when I'm paying attention to the market all in, uh, which I haven't been for the past couple of days. To be completely honest, it's been a slow couple of days for trading for me. Um, I just have not had the motivation yet. We'll kick that into gear later on this week for sure. But uh, just these out-of-packs cards, and it's a couple of these that I'm looking up right now are ones that I have 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 had their prices memorized. Um, very, very good to trade with, with the fluctuations. Wow, 350 
for dog leash. That's kind of low. So anyways, that's kind of the market. I think I'm pleasantly surprised by the Chinese Super League and with the Air Divisi content. The Fellaini SBC is nice. It is very nice. And the upgrade player picks continue to pay out. And there's a lot of hype there. Now, right now, there are three hours left in the weekend league and I'm on 12 wins. I'm kind of thinking about stopping, but I also might have to go get into get two more just in case. I want a second player pick, man, because we've got all these secondary cards that are in packs. Player picks this week might be a little bit watered down. It might be harder to get the Serie A players since you have not one secondary league, but now you have two. So I'm very interested to see how Thursday looks with the player picks, but I think I'm going to try to go ahead and get 14 wins to give myself a shot at two of those. And hopefully that means better chances for a Ronaldo or an Alessandrini or a Milan or something sick like that. So that's kind of my thought process right now as the weekend league is ending. But again, my advice to you guys, if you're doing any of these Serie A upgrade player picks, hold off until later in the week, because again, you're just going to be more SBCs to craft. You don't want to waste your fodder on something too early. And also the rares are going to be cheaper 1000% once we get to rewards this week so that's the video for today boys i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know down below if you're enjoying the content like this does this air divisi does the csl stuff hype you up at all or does it not really add into this week because this week for the syria is a little bit lesser in hype we haven't even had any icon moments player species i don't know where those are at this week but ea sports keep keep bringing those out all right we need them. But let me know again down in the comments how hype you are finding this week. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.